Welcome to American Shoot EasyWave product line of trash and linen shoot systems. The EasyWave pneumatic door training video provides an overview of trash shoot operations, describes the intake door user interface, and recommends waste disposal guidelines to keep your shoot system operating smoothly. The most basic form of a chute is a cylindrical pipe installed between each floor of a high-rise building. Access doors on each level allow materials to fall down through the chute to a collection point at the bottom. From here, additional equipment is used to remove the materials from the building. Normally, the main components of the chute will be the chamber that passes down through the building, intake doors at each of the upper levels, and a control system used to interface between upper level doors and material handling equipment at the base of the chute. Many chute systems will also include optional equipment such as smoke detectors, heat sensors, washdown systems, and other auxiliary equipment as determined by specific site installation requirements. Chute intake doors are the main focus of this video. However, we need to understand that the control system will lock and unlock doors based on the condition of all equipment in the chute. For example, if a trash compactor at the base of the chute is full, the control system will not unlock the intake doors. However, the most common feature of the control system is to unlock only one door at a time. When one door is open, all the other doors will be locked. All intake doors contain a user interface panel with a wave sensor to provide user input to the control system. To generate a door open request, make a motion in front of the sensor. The control system will detect the input and respond appropriately. User feedback about the operating status of the chute is provided by the LED indicator. When the light is off, the door is locked, the chute is idle and waiting for user input. When the light is green, the chute is ready, the door is unlocked and may be opened. When the light is red, the chute is busy, the door is locked and user input is ignored. When the light is red and flashing, the chute system detected a fault associated with the open door and indicates the door must be closed. To open a door under normal conditions, wait for the indicator light to be off. Make a motion in front of the sensor. The indicator light will flash red momentarily during chute equipment setup and green when the door is unlocked. The pneumatic door will open automatically. Insert all waste completely into the chute and allow it to drop. Do not push the door, it closes automatically. After the door closes, the indicator turns red while the system waits for materials to fall out of the chute. The indicator turns off when the cycle is complete and now the system is idle and waiting for the next access request. At any time while attempting to open a door, if the indicator is red or turns red, the door will remain locked. Do not pull on the door or force it open in any manner. If a door is open on one level, the indicators will be red on all doors at the other levels. After the open door is closed, all the indicators will change to off. If the indicator remains red for longer than the normal open and close time frame, maintenance personnel may have locked out the intake doors. When service operations are complete, the chute intake doors will be re-enabled.
Doors are equipped with a tamper protection system to lock out a door receiving too many instructions. If the motion sensor is activated over four times within a 90 second period, tamper lockout is activated. The interface panel will not respond to any input and the shoot door will remain locked. In this mode, the indicator light flashes red one time with each user input. The door will not return to normal operation until it has been left inactive for 90 seconds. Lockout only affects the door being tampered with. All other doors on the chute function normally. The EasyWave user interface demonstrated in this video uses a wave sensor device to detect the user input. An Easy Push user interface is also available and uses a push button switch to detect the user input. Both interfaces are identical except the wave sensor device is replaced with a push button switch. All other features and functions are identical and it's possible to have a mixture of both Easy Wave and Easy Push interfaces on the same shoot system. With regard to the mechanical design of the chute, all doors are fabricated at the factory. Door panels are pre-hung and the stainless steel finish is protected with a temporary plastic covering. Door locking control components are installed and covered with a temporary steel plate. Door frame trim panels are provided and shipped with all doors. During the final building construction phase and after the wall finish is complete, the protective cover should be removed, the stainless steel trim panels should be installed around the door frame and the user interface panel should be installed over the control equipment compartment. Adjust final placement of trim panel pieces to provide clearance around all moving parts of the door panel, door locking latches and the user interface sensors. As a final part of the chute system setup, all door handles on a pneumatic chute should be locked because the control system releases the door latch as part of the automatic door opening process. The door opening is designed to funnel material into the chute and away from the opening. Bag all waste to prevent small items or loose material from becoming lodged or jammed in any part of the door frame, hinge mechanisms or brackets. Do not lean on an open door or apply any excessive pressure. Never force a door open or closed and ensure clearances around the door frame are maintained. Any obstructions preventing free movement of the door may cause problems with the control sensors, interlocking latches and actuator mechanisms. With regard to waste disposal practices, the chute system essentially provides waste transportation. Rules and regulations about specific types of materials are determined by the waste management company responsible for removal of waste from your building. Ideally, waste disposal information will be posted near intake doors. In addition to waste management requirements, avoid oversized objects or light bulky material such as styrofoam packaging. These items may get lodged or jammed inside the chute, creating blockages that cause material to back up inside the chamber. This concludes our training video and thank you for choosing American Chute Easy Wave product line of trash and linen chute systems. Please refer to the Easy Wave Chute System Operating Instructions and the Easy Wave Chute System Installation Manual for additional information.